Hello, in this video, we'll try to create a chat playground like this. This is chat GPT having GPT 3.5 model. So Azure gives us the capability by which we can uh, create an instance and, in and deploy this model. There are various models, large language models that are available on Azure. And we can deploy that and create our own kind of chat GPT without writing a code. So what we are doing today is we are doing an exercise, which is part of AI 900. They say it takes 25 minutes, but we'll try to do it in a shorter time. So let's begin. Hello, my name is Gaurav Khurana and this is my channel and we are covering a playlist. So far, I have covered nine videos in this, uh, which talks about cloud and AI, starting with the basic that what is a cloud and then we covered that what is there in AI 900 and today we'll cover this. So what we have to do is we have to create a resource. So everything you have to do on Azure portal, you have to create a resource. So we will create an open AI resource and then we'll go to studio, which is a no code solution where we don't have to write any code. And we'll use this chat playground where whatever resource we created, we will deploy it. And then we get a chat GPT kind of stuff. We'll configure it. And we'll try to ask question and see that uh, what kind of answers it's giving. And if time permits, we will even include the Delhi, which is a model by which you can create images with your text. So let's see how to do it. So you have to open portal.azure.com. So I have already created an account and I have shared a video where I have showed that how they give you 16,000 uh, rupees to experiment with this for 12 months. Right, so go through that video. So we have to type here Azure Open AI. So we will see a service Azure Open AI. I have not created a resource of this type. So I'll create click on this create Azure Open AI. Okay, it will ask me to create a resource group. In the previous video, we created this. Otherwise, I can create a new one. You can just give any unique name Azure AI 900. Okay, like this. I have given a name pricing tier it's asking okay so it's telling me that you have to uh, request for access let me request access for it so i'll continue the video once i get the access but you have to do this right uh, let me fill this form and pause this video and after filling this i'll wait for the confirmation and then i'll show you further so i have filled up that form which was coming here and there I have provided my company's email ID because it does not take your Gmail ID and it asks for your subscription ID which you can get like you can go on home and here you can copy the subscription ID for you right it's coming here subscription ID which you can copy and fill up in that form after that what we have to do is search for open AI here and you will see this that GPT kind of symbol. So every time we have to do anything, we have to create a resource, right? So we'll create a resource now. Now you will see I'm not seeing that form kind of thing. Like I have filled the details. There are basic details that which service you want to use, right? So you can select view. And last time we created this resource group. So let's use that. Even you can create a new one. Let me give it a unique name chat gpt for testing okay and pricing tier is standard so like click like, let's click on next okay i'm not changing any settings and i don't want to give any tags so tags are useful so that you can find similar kind of things and also you can give a name and a key let's say environment testing things like that and now it's we are submitting it so we are done with this part of uh, the exercise that we are doing that provision in Azure Open AI resource. So we have uh, created a resource. If you see deployment has started. So now there is a dedicated resource that has been created in our subscription. Okay, after this, we'll go to the Azure Open AI Studio. You can see the progress here. Once the deployment is done, it will say deployment succeeded. And that means that our resource is ready to be used. 
Okay, and after that, what we have to do is we will go to this Azure Open AI Studio. Let me copy the link from there. And we will be using our model with GPT 3.5. And there are maybe four is also available. And we'll try to have our own chat GPT. Let's wait for this. Now the deployment is uh, complete. Even here it shows deployment succeeded. Let me go to the resource. Okay, it, these are the details about the resource, but for using it, we will go to the studio because studio makes it easier to use in a no code way. So openai.azure.com is the link for the studio. So now we are on this Azure OpenAI Studio. So once you are on this, you can come to the model page and you can click on deploy and I can give the deployment name same like this, right? And click on the create button. And after that, once the deployment is completed, you can see that uh, it's coming here and whatever name we uh, gave and all right after that you can go to this chat right you will see something similar to chat gpt with more controls right so as of now we did all of this whatever is there on the right side if you see we went to the models we deploy the model right after uh, deploying the model and selecting these things i'll paste this link in the chat right now we are on a similar page like this right okay so this is the chat gpt for us right and let's experiment with it let me ask some question okay explain epic feature user story for a layman let's see what kind of reply it gives okay if you see it's explaining that uh, what is an epic it refers to a large and significant piece of work right or a big object and objective in a project then it's telling about that feature is a specific functionality or capability right so it is telling me whatever i have uh, asked for it right and here i can maybe show json as well so it's like it it has some of the details like you are an ai assistant that helps find information right so user what question user has asked right and what is the json it has given so that if you want to create your own application then you can use this json right and you can use in your project and all right let me ask another question it would be did be used for api testing in my opinion it should not be but let's see that what kind of reply it gives okay it's very quick if you see it has uh, given the answer that right so it's telling how it can help right if i ask that how it should not help then it will give uh, those kind of things okay and it's telling me that whenever you are uh, sending any message it includes the previous message right if you know that uh, how is it different then UI. Okay, though, though I have not talked about BDD in this question, but it takes the last 10 responses. So that's why if you see here, it is it knows the context that what thing we are talking about. So we can make those settings from here. You can play with the parameters that are available here. Like you can go to parameters and set the temperature here. It will tell you that uh, more repetitive and deterministic response. So each one has a particular thing that you can check with this right and uh, here you can mention a prompt message like i can say you are an ai assistant that helps only with testing questions and not automated so i have put that now let's see what is automated. i have cleared the chat and i have given a system message so you can play with this right and let's see the other thing that they have asked right so they have asked these two questions and we have also asked some questions and we can set this and you can even add a data source that you want to add so so there is other various data sources that they have given right so we can even give a web resource as well right so you can give a website or something and test that out right and let's try the other thing that they are talking about so they are talking about delhi so delhi is a model which we used for uh, generating images right so what they want is a robot eating spaghetti right let's type that and try to generate it okay so here i have selected Dell e2 in the drop down okay and if you have not created a deployment you can go to this uh, deployment and 
and uh, click on so if you see robert eating spaghetti is created but let's try something else of course looking at a monument so let's try this which they have not given and see that how is it coming okay there is a person looking at the monument okay so what we did today is we created a azure open ai resource it asked to fill up a form which i filled right maybe it might not give access to everybody right so but you can create the Azure Open AI resource. Come to this studio, go to models, select one of these models. So there are various models for various reasons, right? So, uh, and we can even add a custom model. If we have a model available, let's say for medicine data or for some data, we can deploy that model. Once you deploy it, it will come here. So if you see, I have deployed two models. So they both are coming here. And if you apply it, uh, like applied a chart model, right? GPT kind of, it will come here, which you you can ask questions, you can adjust these parameters and answers would vary as per that, right? And in Delhi, it's more of a like uh, image creation. So all of this stay in your subscription, right? It's not in public, right? Whatever things you do. So that would remain only in your subscription. Once you delete it, it's all over. So I can go back and delete all of this resource group and all to save time, to save money basically, right? So I'll delete those resources like I have shown in the previous video. So thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new today.